A tower crane tumbled from the roof of a downtown Seattle building on Saturday, killing four and injuring four others, the Seattle Fire Department said. The crane, erected for the construction of a Google campus, according to the Seattle Times, landed on six vehicles. Members of the Seattle Police Department and Seattle Fire Department first responded to Fairview Avenue and Mercer Street about 3.30 p.m. Fire Department officials said that, by the time rescuers arrived, three men and one woman had died, two iron workers who were in the crane when it fell and two people who were in cars. Harborview Medical Center admitted three patients a man and woman in their mid-twenties and a female infant. Two were discharged late Saturday, according to the newsroom for the University of Washington Health Sciences, and the third patient was in stable condition. This is a tragic day in Seattle with this catastrophic incident in the heart of our city, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin said in a statement Saturday. But, she said, the city also saw some miracles, like a 25-year-old mother and her four-month-old daughter who survived despite being trapped inside one of the cars crushed by the crane. SeaWorld gondola ride turns into harrowing, as long ordeal for 16 passengers. The cause of the collapse is still under investigation, Durkin said. It will take time. The state's Department of Labor and Industries is assessing the need for road repairs where the crane landed. The National Weather Service tweeted that a storm brought gusts of wind reaching 23 miles per hour around the time of the collapse but said the gusts were probably not strong enough to have caused it. The city of Seattle has seen a recent rise in building construction and tower cranes, according to the Associated Press, but Saturday marked the first crane accident in the city since 2006. Crane that collapsed and killed four in Seattle was working on Google campus. A construction crane that came crashing down onto one of Seattle's busiest streets, killing four people, was working on a building in Google's new Seattle campus, officials said. The tragedy occurred during a storm that brought strong wind gusts, they said. One woman and three men had died by the time firefighters had arrived on the scene Saturday afternoon, Fire Chief Harold Scoggins said. Two of the dead were iron workers who had been inside the crane while the other two were people who were inside cars, Fire Department spokesman Lance Garland said. A 25-year-old mother and her four-month-old daughter were in a car that was smashed by the crane on its passenger side, and both managed to escape with only minor injuries, Mayor Jenny Durkin said, calling it a miracle. They and a 28-year-old man were taken to Harborview Medical Center. A fourth person also was injured and treated at the scene. The crane collapsed near the often congested intersection of Mercer and Fairview Avenue just north of downtown in the South Lake Union neighborhood shortly before 3.30 p.m., Scoggins said. The deadly collapse is sure to bring scrutiny about the safety of the dozens of cranes that dot the city's skyscape. With Amazon, Google and other tech companies increasing their hiring in Seattle, the city has more cranes building office towers and apartment buildings than any other in the United States. As of January, there were about 60 construction cranes in Seattle. Durkin said the city had a good track record with crane safety but that officials would conduct a review. It's a horrible day in Seattle when something like this happens. But it's a time when we come together because Seattle is a city that rallies around each other, she said. Officials do not yet know the cause of the collapse.
Police and the State Department of Labor and Industries were investigating, which Dorkin said could take months. Darren Konopaski, the business manager for the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 302, which represents heavy equipment operators, told the Seattle Times he understood the crane was being dismantled when high winds moved through the area. We don't know, but that's what seems to have happened here, he said. We are in the process of trying to get information. Durkan confirmed that people were actively working on top of the building Saturday, but she didn't say whether the crane was being dismantled. A line of showers moved over Seattle just about the time the crane fell, the National Weather Service said. An observation station on nearby Lake Union showed winds kicked up with gusts of up to 23 miles per hour at 3.28 p.m., just about the time the crane fell. It was terrifying, witness Esther Nelson, a biotech researcher who was working in a building nearby, told the Times. The wind was blowing really strong, she said and added that the crane appeared to break in half. Half of it was flying down sideways on the building, she said. The other half fell down on the street, crossing both lanes of traffic. The office building the crane fell from was badly damaged, with several of its windows smashed. A Google spokesperson said in a statement that the company was saddened to learn of the accident and that Google representatives were in communication with Vulcan, the real estate firm that is managing the site and working with authorities. Harborview spokeswoman Susan Grigg said Saturday night that the mother and baby had been discharged, while the man injured was in satisfactory condition. The King County Medical Examiner's Office said it would not release the names of the people who died until Monday. A crane collapsed in the Seattle suburb of Bellevue in 2006, damaging three neighboring buildings and killing a Microsoft attorney who was sitting in his living room. The Department of Labor and Industries cited two companies for workplace safety violations after an investigation that found a flawed design for the crane's base. Trudy and I join all Washingtonians in extending our deepest condolences to the family and friends of the four people who died in this afternoon's tragic accident, Governor Jay Inslee said in a statement. Inslee also said he hoped for a speedy and full recovery for those injured, thanked first responders and urged people to stay clear of the accident scene. Crane Collapse Kills 4 As Gusty Winds Whip in Seattle Four people were killed after a construction crane fell onto a busy Seattle street amid gusty weather on Saturday afternoon. Two iron workers were inside the crane when it collapsed and both of them died. The other two deaths occurred inside vehicles as the crane crashed to the ground. Four others were injured, including a 25-year-old mother and her four-month-old daughter who were both in a vehicle that got smashed by the crane. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin called it a miracle that both only sustained minor injuries. This is a tragic day in Seattle with this catastrophic incident in the heart of our city. My heart breaks for those who lost loved ones today, and we are praying for strength for those injured, Durkin said in a statement. We also saw some miracles including a mother and her young child whose car was struck by the crane but survived. We are seeing our community come together in the face of tragedy and provide comfort to each other, the statement read. Washington Governor Jay Inslee also offered his condolences on Twitter.